this video is to show you the basic usage of the ray trace uh, programs. And the program is in this directory. Uh, pull your class CS621 ray trace examples. And there's a file called tracecon.cpp. And so here's the basics of the ray trace program structures. Uh, so this is the uh, main routine. And as usual, we set up the uh, OpenGL uh, keyboard uh, <coughs> and rendering. Now, to use the ray trace, we need to set up the uh, set up ray trace world. So we need this routine. Uh, that's all we need to uh, do. Let's Uh, these are pretty standard. So the pixel array 640 is 480 is the uh, ray trace windows. And then we set up materials, set up lights. Uh, or you can modify all these routines because uh, the source codes are available. Uh, uh, by the way, uh, you just need to uh, modify the make file to point to uh, any code that you have modified. At this point, uh, the ray trace space is pull you class CS621 ray trace. You can point uh, the base to this directory and link uh, the directories. Okay. I mean, link the object files or libraries. And now uh, in this example, we just trace a cone. So we create a pointer, viewable cone, v cone, new viewable cone, okay. and then set the parameters. We set central axis, set type, and the view object zero is v cone, and we only have one object. So we set number of objects to be one. Okay. Now the files or header source codes are in this directory. One directory opt graphics, and so these are the viewable objects. Okay. So everything is a viewable, uh, viewable cone here, and you can uh, say they looked what kind of functions it has by viewing the directory, uh, by that by viewing the header file. So these are the functions that you can use, uh, and uh, and that's the main thing that you need to do. Uh, so you have many other functions. So uh, to do the way trace, we uh, press G, press capital G. We do the usual uh, open geo render. So when the ray trace mode, ray trace mode I is true, then uh, we do the ray trace. And let's take a look at the cut pose we display. Uh, so the cut display function is the render scene. So here's the render scene. So if it is ray trace mode, we uh, ray trace view. Otherwise, we render with a uh, cut. And uh, when I execute this program, I need to make it first. So we have trace cone. So this is the usual uh, rendering with uh, GUT. I can trace it. So this is ray trace, and then I can rotate it. Trace. Okay. Now, 
we can easily modify this program to add uh, the another viewable object. So suppose I copy this to demo. And I suppose I add a sphere to it. So here's the sphere. So we take a add the sphere. Okay, so this is the sphere functions. We can set the radius, set the center, okay. and to use that, we need to include this header. Viewable sphere dot eight. So we go here and add this. Include viewable sphere dot eight. Go back to the apt retrace. So here I can add another object. So I say it uh, view both sphere, say VS equals new view sphere to create a viewable object. And we set the parameters. Set so it should be set radius. Is set to two point five? Then set the center. Maybe just a uh, free. Free, free, and add one more viewable object. One set to yes, <coughs> and then change this to two. Okay, so we save it, and now let's compile it. Make plog equals demo and now uh, when execute you can see that we have a sphere and a cone and I can ray trace it so you can see the image here and I can rotate it a little so you can see the different effect uh, or change the viewpoint ray trace You can see different effects. So you can experiment the package 